chapter today I'm gonna be reading Dragon Hoops. So let's get started. Chapter 13, Mater D Monarchs versus Bishop Do Dragons. March 21st, 2015, Men Northern Nez, California Championship. Only one championship left. Hey, that looks a nice tonight, didn't he, young man? His uh, three-point shot got re real pretty. I gotta wonder, though. I used to pull him out for every little mistake. I thought I was teaching him discipline. But what it caused? But was it because he's Asian? Would I have let him play through it if he was a black kid or a white kid? I doubt though Alex sees it like that. We got all got our blast blazes, uh, young man. Ding! Oh yeah! What's up? This is how Southern uh, California Game Championship Championship game just ended. We're playing uh, Mater D uh, for sake. The Mater D and Monarchs, proud owners of 11 state championships trophies, currently on a four-year streak that includes last year's devastating defeat of the Dragons. Five years ago, the head coach, Gary McKnight, took up Mike Phelps' record to, come, to become the winningest coach in California history. Wait, you're happy about that? Why don't you rather go up against some other team? In order to be the best, you got to beat the best, young man. But, but he said the same thing last year. March, March 28th, 2015. Men's California State Championship. Has, has a pavilion on the, the UC Berkeley campus. Oh, do the folks come out in those? Students, parents, teachers. The varsity's a women's team are come out too. They won their own state championship in the same gym the day before. Two other players, Asia Thomas and Asia Robertson, are here to cheer team for their former two teammates. They all play. They played with Ivan and Paris on the, at the boys' team when they were all at middle school. A few day, a few days back, a few weeks back, I asked Paris about it. You don't mind having girls on your team? No, I told them to try out. Aisha and Aza were better, better than a lot of the other boys. All right, turn the music off. Let's get started. Get serious. Get serious. Get serious. No more laughing. And one. And one last thing, you all remember Rex Hilfer. He's uh, the 6'6 six, six card. He's big, he's dick, he's strong. <laughs> Shoots from anywhere. See him doing that wraparound? We're in the zone. Be a cognizant, all right? Well, there's not a lot left to say. Let's go get it done. Three things, fellas. Leave everything on the floor. Ha and be legendary tonight. Sure, have some fun along the way, but this journey ends with a state championship. That's got to be there. You know, lately I've been thinking about how long we've known one another. I want you guys to think for a second. Who is the person in this room who's known me, who's known you've known the longest? Give me a name and tell me how long. Get us started, T-Bone. 26 years ago, Lou was my counselor at the Old Rita Camp. Coach Lou, eight years. Coach Lou, two years. Franklin, eight years. Paris, eight. Coach Banny, nine years. Ivan, eight. 26 years with uh, Coach Lou and 22 with Coach Tony. Coach Banny, nine or ten, even eight. Coach Lou and Coach Tony, 10 years. Look at that history. Some of you had a relationship for this program of almost a decade, some even longer. Pretty incredible. And in the stand tonight, you'll see a alumni who hadn't taken in, in the coach staff in years. Some caught planes from the each coast to be here. This is the le legacy that you are a part of. Embrace it. Every young man's journey comes to some 
comes to an end at some point. Seniors, this is your end, and what a great end it is. Now, it turns out so that you control your destiny, your legacy. So let's go. Ivan, you got prayer. Dear Lord, uh, we thank you for putting us on the stage once again. We ask that you uh, guide us to victory. And uh, we thank you for everybody who came out tonight. Amen. Deja Vu uh, ha here has the Hayes uh, Pavilion. As we covered the same Zach game a year ago, the Major D Monarchs uh, that came on top at that time extending their championship streak to four in a row. Can they make it five tonight? We're about to find out. As we begin, let me remind you that there's not a single player on the floor wearing red that ever lost in the uh, ever lost in a state tournament game ever tip off go dragons paris austin takes it jeep pass jeevan the santu jumper no good clang pass long a tray by a pill of a fur and that's got them started in a hurry right pill of fur is one of the best long range shooters on the court rabbit can't Rabbit can't get it to fall. Clang. Swish. Sloppy defense from the dragons. Walker misses everything. Slam. Piffiger flushes it. We're almost halfway through the first and the, the dragons have a yet to make a single field go. Alex, get in there. Pa, pa, pa. Pax. Swish. Alex out for three, and the, the Dragons uh, have uh, their first packet, book, book basket as last. Zal, that's it, Alex. Zal, your son is doing great. Oh, he's, uh, thanks. Fifth Uger um, picks the Walker's pocket. The Dragons' uh, first uh, basket came from the bench. Shows just how effective the Monarchs have in uh, shutting down old roots of superstars. The Dragons have not to sim have simply enough. The Dragons have simply not been able to get Rav his touches. The Monarchs have been doing everything right at the at the both ends of the floor. The result: a five-point lead at the half. The Dragons never poked their heads in the front, not even once. Bench, we've talked about this before. The guys uh, on the floor uh, feed off your energy. You gotta embrace your role. If you're a rose, you twirl a towel uh, over your head. Be the best uh, tower twir uh, twirler in the whole gym. This is a mirror uh, image of last year. Listen, I've enjoyed uh, watching you play for 30 games this season. You can do much better than that. Seniors, the next 16 years will define your basketball careers at Old Wood. Is this uh, how uh, you want to go out? I We're down by five. We're fine, but we got to make some adjustments. Nodding like I understand. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Hey, positive dots, everybody. Like college, uh, dance ascends were fine. Hey, man, you got any words for us? Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I guess I can say something. You know, I hated sports since I was a kid. I hated playing, but watching was even worse. So boring. I didn't get why people liked so much. But now, after following you all the season, I think I finally do. When you step out onto that court, no matter how prepared you are, you don't really know if you're going to lose or win. But you step out anyway. And maybe those are uh, those of us in the audience hope that watching you would take that step will inspire us to do the same thing. Honestly, I think that's happened for me. As a graphic novelist, I mean, so thank you. We're at the top of the second half. Austin Walker inbounds the ball. He lobs it to Rob. Too soft, Snatch. Pig Fugger sends it to down the court for an unhindered layup. I'm going to leave it all on the floor. Pa, pa, pa. It'd be hard-pressed to find another player as quick as Paris Austin as the high school level. Flip. Whoa! 
swam. Gorgeous feet to run. Now that's what Bishop will do. Do the needs to do. Yeah. Closing the seconds of the, the third quarter, and that the dragons have actually managed to tie it up. Oops! Tomorrow it's a ride open. Blar. Swish. He knocks it down on the horn. You can see why Coach Gary McKnight has a 92% career win at percentage. The Monarchs have controlled this contest from the from the very beginning. But you gotta hand it to the Dragons. They struggled mightily, but they will not go away. Go Dragons! And with just over a minute left, it's a two-possession game. Papa, the Dragons have got to make something happen right now. Austin driving on uh, the much bigger pew figure. Bat for too hard off the window. Loose ball. Get it, get it. Snatch. Mater D picks it up. Sigh. Ultimately, Darissa is right. This, this story is, no, is worth telling, no matter the final score. These are coaches and the players now have memories that will last for them for the rest of the life they've built a legacy that is bigger than any and that any one a single game even state free travel call the mater d great decisive effort by santu him drawing drawing between the santu and piff figure ferris austin acts like as a peacemaker, high emotion on the floor. It's the championship game after all. Zalens bounce to Austin. Austin with a scoop slam. Free. He draws him a foul and earns himself a pair of free throws. Don't let this cool you, nor if you fool you. Fool you. He, these are a big shots. He's gotta be all nerves inside. He's a, just a two of a. Two, two of the six from the line tonight, but this time he's pure on both. And the Dragons have closed with the gap to uh, uh, two uh, with uh, 25 ticks left. Monarch's ball. You know how I just uh, said about uh, the final score doesn't matter? Beat that. <laughs> Go, Dragons! <laughs> Internet. Inter Intentional uh, foul by Santu. Old Wood looking to eke out one more position. Later D has uh, to make uh, the first to earn a second. Miss grab. Old Wood calls timeout. I'll tell you what the Dragons are planning to do. They got to get the ball to Paris Austin. Put him in uh, some sort of ball screen. Their only option is to run Ivan Rabbit down low and get him in a deep touch. But they had trouble doing that all game. Hard to imagine them pulling it off with 16 seconds left. Pa, pa, pa. Walker brings the ball up. Pa, pa, pa. Swish. Yeah! Holy! That's Austin Walker's first bucket of the game. The biggest possession of his life. I did not see that coming. Isn't that the beauty of sports, though? Unlikely heroes. Yeah! Clang. No. <laughs> Lord, the monarchs are unable to get it done by the buzzer. And we are in overtime. Piffiger is the old... First old T shot swish. How many points is that for him? I've lost count. Pa, pa, pa. Shockingly, the Dragons have not been able uh, to take uh, the lead, not even for one second. Major D rattles in another three. Rab, Rab hits the boards with authority. Fifth figure comes up short. Walker holds on to the ball. Coach Alou wants to uh, run the clock out before his team makes an attempt to deny uh, the Monarch's chance uh, to retaliate. Whee! The ball doesn't fall, but Rabbit literally draws a, a foul with literally nothing on the clock. The 2015 State California State Championship comes down to two free throws. Hey, you got this, Ivy. Take us home. Rituals come, the performers are allowing him to focus. Pa, 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 spin. Gas. Yes.
I can't, uh, cannot imagine the pressure that the young man uh, must be feeling right now. Pa, 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 spin. Swish. Hi, Coach. We did it. After all these years, we did it. I love you, Coach. After that, the words of respect are, in sta are exchanged. A trophy is presented. Pictures are snapped. Then the timeout comes uh, to a hold head back to the locker room. From the corner of my eye, I see Austin Walker, the kid who always knows who he is, who's always at home. Step... Apologies, Jean. April 30th, 2015. Both the women's and men's team are invited to meet Kevin Johnson, the former all-star point guard who is now the mayor of San Clemente. One scroll, two championship squads. Outsta astonishing. You're at the two going to the USC of Berkeley next year. Huh? Go Bears! After retiring from basketball, Maybe our Johnson earned his uh, political science degree from Berkeley. After we head to a local pizzeria for lunch. Hey Lou, I want to tell you about a conversation I had with Alex. I've seen Coach Lou yell at you a lot, especially in the beginning of the season. Any thoughts on that? It's tough love, I get it. Believe me, it's a lot worse than Chinese culture. Ha ha. Look, last year I played on TV, G, JV, and we had practices at a, at a 6 or 15 in the morning. My whole sa family couldn't take me, which I totally understand. My whole dad is not my dad. I asked Coach Lou. Can you give me a ride? No problem, Alex. He didn't have to be at school so early. But he woke up at 5.30 to pick me up every day. I know he really cares about me. Huh? Thanks for letting me know, young man. So, you gonna travel with us uh, again next year? We're, we'll be rebuilding, up, but it'll still be fun. Actually, I'm leaving Bishop Old Dude at the end of the school year. What? I know, I've been at Old, at old Dude for 17 years, but I think it's time for me to go all in my comics career. <laughs> The DC Comics called me up recently and offered me Superman. I said yes. Superman! Nice! Congratulations, dang man. I'm glad we got a chance to get to know each other before you left. Same here, bump. Hey, Ivy, how's your lunch? I'm not hungry. A teenager? Not hungry? Did You didn't eat? Nah. What's that about? He probably forgot his money and doesn't want to, to ask to borrow any. Ivan doesn't like drawing attention to himself. I'm gonna go make sure he gets some food. Yeah, sure. Maybe I was wrong about Ivan and Paris. Maybe their unwillingness to share their backstories with me has nothing to do with the media savvy. Every time they step on the floor, they give us their Superman. Who can blame them to, for wanting to keep their Clark account to themselves? Hey, kid, who wants to play some basketballs? Only if I get to be a good guy, Daddy. Basketball doesn't really work like that. There aren't good guys and bad guys. Then how do we know who wins? we got to play to find out. Come on. So this is the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!